hello guys uh, welcome to this video so in this video i'll show you a react js uh, library which allows you to integrate the google drive file picker uh, api where you can able to read files from your google drive or also directly upload files to your google drive so there is a button out there i'm running this react js application locally we have a simple button which opens the file picker api which will do the authentication first of all oauth to authentication so here you need to select your google account then grant the permission for your google drive you will see that it is allowing you the permission simply click continue so it will grant the permission and it will now fetch all the files which are stored all the images and you can see that so you also have the second option as well to actually directly upload files so you simply select upload and then you simply select whichever file that you want to upload let's suppose i select a image file this jpg file that i'm uploading right here you can add multiple files as well so let's suppose i add two images right here using this file picker api simply say upload you will see you can even upload files as well so but we can see the files right here if you see if you individually select any file you will see the file will be returned to you inside an object so now i'll be showing you how to integrate this so there is a specific module inside react js which is this one react google drive picker this is actually the module the command is very simple to actually install this module so once you install this let me show you uh, just create a simple functional component so now we first of all need to import this module so for importing it we use a simple import statement use drive picker and it will be coming from this package so just using this import line we simply import the module and then we will have a simple button in the jsx and this button will simply say that open picker and we will basically bind an on click listener to this so on click this function will be handle open picker now we just need to define this function so as soon as we click this button we just need to define this function <coughs> so right here we will declare a variable here first of all open picker and auth response and this will be using the use drive picker and this is just a function so we declare this variable this is a hook and right inside this function we actually call this function open picker and this actually takes some options so here you need to specify the client id and then you also need to specify the developer key and then the scope so this scope basically grants all the permission we can read upload download delete everything and then the view id which is google docs local which is english and then if you also want to upload you can set this option to true show upload folders show upload files you can see that so you can set all these options
and we also have the option to actually multi select which allows you to select multiple files and then we also have a callback function which will execute once you actually select the data so inside this function we can actually have a action so if you basically uh, just click the cancel button this call action will be cancelled and we'll just console log all the data that you selected now here in this we just need to replace your client id and the api key so these two information you will get inside your google cloud console so just create a simple account right here i have already created one so then you need to go to library section and uh, here you need to search for the API that we are working on which is so just search here for Google Drive you will see this API will occur Google Drive API so just you need to enable this API I have already enabled this simply enable that after that just create a go to credentials and just I have already created this API key simply paste and my react.js application is running on port number if you see the application is running by default it's running on localhost 5173 so this is your home page simply copy this url and uh, go to this option oauth client id application type will be web application and authorized javascript origin simply paste this url just don't uh, also add this http so you just need to add both the flavors right here including the port number also the HTTP localhost and then just copy this URL in the authorized redirect URI simply paste and then just click create it will give you your client ID so I already have the created this client ID so what I will do I will simply copy this so after you do this uh, just login with your google account so let me open click this button and as soon as you click it you will be redirected to the screen right here where you will select your account just make sure let me create it once again I think I already created one that's why just do this process once again uh, you set your application type to be web application authorize just copy this paste and now it will give you this client id you just need this one and just paste this client id so as soon as you do this just open your application oh, localhost 5173 and just click this button and now you will simply select your account just grant the permissions and automatically it will log you in and you will see that you have this screen where you can upload directly your files as well and now you can see your files have been successfully uploaded so in this way guys you can integrate 
very easily the Google Drive file picker API inside your ReactJS application to up upload download files using this file picker API window. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and also check out my website freemediatools.com which contains thousands of tools regarding audio, video and image and I will be seeing you in the next video.